Today we're going to be speaking about Genesis chapter 2, uh, verses 1 through 3, which speaks about uh, kind of the institution of the Sabbath as a uh, in response to God's own work, uh, let me read the text to you uh, today as we get started. And as Glenn's going to lead us through this important subject, Genesis 2, 1 through 3, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God finished his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. So I assume uh, this is some material that you had covered a little bit at the uh, the Amarillo Reform Fellowship, but uh, explain to us, uh, you know, a bit about these worship beginnings here in Genesis chapters 1 through 3. Certainly, yeah. In Genesis 1 through 3, God lays the foundation uh, for everything else that he builds upon in the rest of Scripture, including what Scripture has to say about the subject of worship. And I spent a lot of time, far more than I was planning on, on the subject of the Sabbath uh, at the conference. Uh, the morning sermon I gave on Sunday was on the Lord's Day, the subject of the Lord's Day. But even earlier in the conference on Friday and Saturday, I talked quite a bit about the Sabbath. And maybe the very first thing to say about this particular text, Camden, is that this text records the climax of the creation week. Um, the climax of the creation week is not the creation of man, which you find back in Genesis 1, 26 through 27, and then the mandate given to man in verse 28. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is the climax of the creation week. And that's important because if man were the climax of the creation week, you would have an anthropological uh, perspective in creation week. But really, it's a theological perspective. Uh, man, of course, is the climax of God's creative fiats. But the climax of the creation week is the divine Sabbath that God enters into. And man, of course, is divided, is invited to enter into it as well. That's his destiny. He's created to enter that Sabbath. So that's a, a tremendously significant feature. I don't want to jump ahead for material as you've, as you've laid it out, but at least should bring to mind a couple things that are important. Uh, number one, the Sabbath is based upon God's own work and his acts, what he has done. Number two, the Sabbath and the Sabbath principle is not something that began in Deuteronomy chapter 5, for example. Right. Uh, and, and therefore, um, what the fourth commandment is expressing is something that is built into the very fabric of creation, not merely a typological right. or mosaic type of observance. So there's this, the Sabbath transcends the transcends national Israel in the land. Yes, and it also transcends um, redemption. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, yes. the Sabbath ordinance uh, is instituted here in Genesis 2, verse 3, meaning the weekly Sabbath ordinance is instituted in verse 3. It's a pre-redemptive ordinance, and it's an ordinance that, that is connected to the covenant of works, as we're going to see. Now, what that means uh, theologically, if we're trying to understand the meaning of the Sabbath, uh, we can't determine the most basic meaning of the Sabbath day from God's work of redemption because it precedes the work of redemption. And so whatever redemptive elements uh, the Sabbath takes on in a post-lapsarian setting, after the fall, it does take on redemptive elements to it, uh, which are fulfilled in the Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Its most basic significance is pre-redemptive. It comes before the era of redemption. And that's yeah. important because if you think, for example, of Calvin's doctrine of the Sabbath, Calvin says that the primary significance of the Sabbath day is that we, is that we um, rest or we cease from our works of sin in order to rest in Christ, to rest by faith in Christ. We cease from the works of sin in order to rest by faith in Christ. Well, um, if that is an, a s part of the significance of the Sabbath, it's not its most basic meaning. It's not its most basic significance because it's a pre-redemptive ordinance. And so sure. I think that is, is important. 